Hello! Hello. 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 How can I abuse you? Yes, sir, you? Mr. Rejection. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm also fine, sir. Thank you for asking. Actually, sir, this call is about final expense program, which is designed to cover 100% of your funeral and burial expenses as well. Let me check. How old are you, sir? I'm 73. Perfect. So what's your five-digit zip code? My zipper code is 48126. Perfect, sir. So do you make your own final decision? I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, okay, Crystal Methhead, and ever since Perfect. I fired my lawyer, Saul Goodman. Uh -huh. Sir, who would be your beneficiary, like your son, your daughter, or your spouse, maybe? It won't be my son, Joseph, because my son, Joseph, is a liar and a thief and a phone scammer, and he stole my drugs, so it will be my nephew, Isaac. Uh -huh. I'm very grateful Isaac's father, Abraham, did not kill him when he was younger. Uh -huh. okay, sir. Sir, last name from my sir, sir, how do you pronounce your first and last name, sir? My first name is pronounced Robert, and my last name is pronounced Grinnell. Sir, uh, can you spell, sir, your name, please? So, my R last name is spelled G is in golf, R is in Romeo, I is in India, and is in November, and is in November... E as in Echo, L is in Lima, yeah. L is in Lima. It's the same spelling as the famous okay. college in Iowa okay. with a piano store that used to be on Woodward Ave in Detroit. Yeah, sir. Sir, please stay on the line. I'm trusting your call with my senior supervisor, sir. Here we go, sir. Okay. I look forward to speaking with your senior suppository. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Oh, I heard a whoosh sound. Sir, I'm really, sir, I'm really appreciate your patience and time, so here we go. Okay. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Yeah, this is Mark, Senior Supervisor, on the line. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. So I'm talking with Robert Fennell, right? Yes. Okay, God bless you, sir. On which plane would you like to receive the information, like 5, 10, 15, or 20? Which is the best plane for you? I would want $20,000. So after my casket leaves the funeral home, it can be placed on the back of a horse-drawn carriage. And I want the horse-drawn carriage to be accompanied by a jazz band from New Orleans. And I want all the traffic in town shut down as the horse-drawn carriage slowly makes its way to the cemetery. And after I'm buried, I want the tombstone to say, I told you I was sick. Oh, you are sick? Well, no, but I want the tombstone to say, I told you I was sick. Okay, so you told me that she's sick. Okay, there's no problem. So you want a 20,000 plan to receive the information, right? Yes. Okay, so just go with me, and I'm here just to turn up with you. So do you make a decision by your own self, right? Yes, I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, Anita Bath, and ever since I fired my lawyer, Saul Goodman. Okay, so that's all from my side. Do you have any active bank account like saving or checking to get a great discount, right? I've been, I've had a checking account ever since I sold my second house for $300,000 and I wanted a safe place to keep the money. 
Okay. So that's all from my side. So I'm here just to transfer your call to my local agent right now. He is available on the line with me. Even if your number is on federal or state, do not call it, okay? Okay. I look forward to speaking with the senior anus. What? I look forward to speaking with the senior agent. Okay, so I'm just asking your call to the local agent from your local area, and he will provide the further information, even if your number is on federal or state, do not call it, okay? Okay, I look forward to speaking with the okay. local anus. Okay, so just wait a second with me, and I'm here just to talk for you. Okay. okay. Just wait with me. So you're located in a beautiful, so you're located in a beautiful state of Michigan, right? Yes, Michigan, the murder mitten. Okay. Okay. So when I transfer your call to then, then tell me my agent that you are interested in checking the options of twenty thousand. Okay. Okay. I'll tell the anus that I want twenty thousand. Okay, so just wait a second on line with me, and here we go. Okay. Oh, I heard a whoosh sound. Oh, that's uh, some technical issue, and I'm here just to reconnect you. Just wait a second with me, okay. and I'm here just to connect you. I thought maybe the license stage in anus has a new fangled toilet that flushes with air instead of water, and he has diarrhea, and he pressed a button, and it made a whoosh sound. Oh, I heard another whoosh sound. Whoosh. Whoosh. Do we have any other sounds like there, like Chopin or uh, the bloop sound? Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. I was thinking maybe Monty Python could have a new skit where they have the knights who say bloop. Is anyone still there? Hello! My name is Michael. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. Well, the short call is regarding the new 2024 additional benefits. So, can I ask you what your age? How young you are? I'm 51! 51. And at the age of 51, you make your own decision? I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, Crystal Methhead, and ever since I fired my lawyer, Saul Goodman. So I believe you don't have Medicare or Medicaid, am I right? I have no Medicare, I have no Medicaid, no one gives old man Robert Grinnell anything. Okay, so what's your five-digit zip code? My zipper code is 48126. Oh, six. That's right. So can you please confirm me what's your five-digit zip code? My zipper code is 48126. What's your first and last name? My first name is Robert and my last name is Grinnell. Your first name is Robert, and what's your last name? Grinnell. Grinnell, that's right. And how much your annual income? Is less than fifty dollars? It's less or than, than fifty thousand. You don't make as much money as you would think being a chef at a crystal meth lab. That's right. That's right, Robert. So, Robert, you're perfectly qualified from my side. So I quickly go ahead and connect your call with my senior supervisor. Please listen him carefully and don't hang up, Robert, okay? Okay. I look forward to speaking with the senior suppository. Uh, hi, thank you so much for holding on line. This is Joe Wilson. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm great. Well, sir, you did have conversation with my associate regarding your subsidies on health insurance that federal government is going to provide you 
only in case if you are making less than fifty thousand dollars in a year. So, are you making less than fifty thousand dollars in a year? Yes. Okay, then you're perfectly qualified to get all these additional subsidies and benefits. Uh, in which you're gonna qualify to get flex card, food stamps, grocery benefits, cashback benefits, stuff like that. So what I do now, I will quickly go ahead and connect you with licensed insurance agent in your area to help you get all these extra benefits. And before that, I wanna know, do you make your own decisions? I've or been, do you have any power of attorney to make decisions? I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, uh, Anita Bath, and ever since I fired my lawyer, Perry Mason. All right, perfect. And now I want to confirm uh, that uh, you have Medicare, Medicaid, VA, and TRICARE for life. Any of that? I don't have Medicare. I don't have Medicaid. And even though I was once in the military, I don't have VA or TRICARE. What happened is I was stationed as a guard at the U.S. Embassy in Islamabad in May 2011. And I got a call from my aunt in America saying a call center worker in Rawell Pindi stole her life savings, and I got a little bit angry, and I went AWOL, and I liberated the limousine of the U.S. ambassador to Pakistan, and then I drove the limousine to a call center in Rawell Pindi, and I entered the call center, and I took the call center worker hostage, and I pistol whipped him, and a few dozen minutes later, I got a call from then President Asif Ali Zardari, and he told me that he would reimburse my aunt out of his personal funds as long as I released the call center worker. So I released the call center worker, and then I left the gun inside the call center, and I got stark naked and went outside so everyone could see I was still on, I was completely unarmed, but a sharpshooter from the Pakistani SWAT team still shot me in the head and after that I was court-martialed and dishonorably discharged so I have no VA and TRICARE and the worst insult is is that my great feet never got any media exposure because a few hours later Barack Obama announced that he had killed Osama bin Laden and everyone was interested in Osama bin Laden and no one cared about what I did at the call center. Oh, that's enough. Okay, so now, sir, I'm going to connect you with licensed agent. You have a great journey with licensed agent. I'm going to connect you, okay? Talk oh. with licensed agent. Okay, I look forward to speaking so. with the licensed agent. Thank you so much for the call. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for calling. This is Zach Roger. I'm a vacation officer on the line. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, you did uh, have a conversation with my associate. Uh, you need 2024 additional benefits, so you don't have Medicare or Medicaid. Am I right? I have no Medicare. I have no Medicaid. No one gives old man Robert That's without right. anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I can see you're 51 year young and you make your own health care decision. Am I right, sir? Yes, I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, Crystal Methhead, and ever since that's I right. fired my lawyer, okay, so I'm Saul talking to Mr. Robert Gurnell. Am I right? Hello? Yes. So I'm talking to Mr. Robert Gurnell. Yeah, and your first name is R-O-B-E-R-T. Am I correct? Yes. And uh, what's your end of it? I mean, it's less than 50K? It's less than 50K. You don't make as much money as you would think being a chef at a crystal meth lab. Okay, okay. So you're perfectly qualified from my side. So I, what I'm doing, I'm going to connect this call with my license agent. So I have one disclaimer for you. Listen him carefully. And at the end, if you... If you agree, simply say yes. And the disclaimer is, listen to me carefully. I'm going to pack this call with my last agent, even if your number or listing are federal or any federal list. So... Yes! Okay, so I'm connecting your call. After a short music, my last agent is joined with you. So here we go. I look forward to speaking with the licensed anus.
Oh, I heard a bloop sound. Bloop, 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 bloop. No, no, sir. After sharp music, my lessons it will join us. So don't worry. I'm connecting your call. So. Okay. I look forward to speaking with the licensed Danis <laughs> after listening to some music. Hello? 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 How can I abuse you? Hello? 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 Hi, good afternoon. This is Sarah. How are you doing today? My day is a bottomless pit of agony and despair. Mm -hmm. I am sorry to hear that. I am just calling to let you know that the government is giving you subsidy to help you pay your bills without any cost to you. So do you currently have any government or state provided health insurance? No, and I can definitely use a pair of subsidies. All right. Well, that means we can help you even more. The plans have just been recently updated, and now we can help you save more money and get you benefits like food card and grocery card. Would you like to get free information from our benefit specialist who will provide details of the best benefits available in your area? Yes, I would like to get some Benelax from the specimen. Hmm. May I transfer your call to our benefit specialist? It will hardly take five minutes. I look forward to speaking with the Benelax specimen. All right. I apologize. I will just put your number in our do not call list. Thank you for your time. But take I want to speak with the Benelax specimen. You don't have the right to hang up on me. Hello? 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 Urgent message. This is Jenna from Legal Finance Group has been attempting to contact you regarding your potential federal financial arrears. This message is to inform you about impending asset liens and banking restrictions. These can be addressed through arrangements under the new federal economic recovery policy. By taking action, your overdue financial obligations may be classified as non-recoverable and dismissed following the processing of your request. To proceed, please press 1. To make a choice, press 1 now. If you wish to opt... Oh, it's suddenly quiet. Are you still there? Hello? 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 How can I abuse you? Is there a Bakri show there? <laughs> Hello? 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 Is there a Bakri show there? How can I oh, abuse hi, you? Your classic accident helpline. How are you doing today? Say so you're fine. Yes. The purpose of this call is about your incident which you had in the last two years and it was not your fault. Do you recall your accident? It was December 31st, 2023. I drank a six-pack of Budweiser. I then drove down Eight Mile Road in Detroit and I accidentally ran over a prostitute and she initially survived. And I offered her $500 cash not to tell my insurance company, but she refused. So I had to run her over a second time to make sure she was dead. The second time. Hello? 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 Good 
good afternoon. My name is Zachary Davis with Affordable Care Red. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? How can I abuse you? Hello? Hello? Please like and subscribe. Thank you.